Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ADS Podcast. I am your host, Justin Games, also known as Justin, with my co-host, Crazy Mitch 42 also known as Mitch. Howdy. And this is our first episode of the Aim Down Sights Podcast, pretty much. Yay! As uh, warning headphone users. Yeah. Is... <laughs> I'm a loud guy. <laughs> He's a loud guy. I'm a loud man. <laughs> yep, so this is a new thing we're just kind of... Doing for fun. This is available. Not sure if it's going to be available for uh, iTunes or Android yet. We haven't really set that up yet. It's just kind of a first episode thing. We're not professionally prepared for this. Hell no. We got, we got the video. If you video see my ready. channel, you know there ain't professionalism there. <laughs> we got the uh, we got the video ready, and then also we have it available on SoundCloud in the description, and for you to be able to watch on the go. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. All right, first topic is the new Call of Duty World at War trailer has dropped recently. Oh, the World yeah. War Two, Right? Yeah. Are you, are you a big COD guy? Uh, I used to be. Mm-hmm. Back in uh, middle school. Middle school, a lot. Yeah. Like, I played that sucker every day. I had no life when it came <laughs> to that game. Uh, it what, always sucked, it, though, because my friends were way better than me. Is that multiplayer-wise you're talking about? Uh, yeah, multiplayer-wise, yeah. Yeah, see, my thing, my entire, ever since, uh, well, that, well, actually, no, past, because, you know, people still buy World of War because of the nostalgia. Oh, yeah, because of the nostalgia and then the mods for the zombies. Yeah, so that's the thing, is that my entire COD career, you could say, is zombies. I love the living shit of zombies. I'm all into the lore, the whole storyline. Mm. I play, basically, I, I really don't buy a COD unless it's Treyarch Zombies. I did get really? Advanced Warfare, but I got it for the Xbox, so I didn't really care. And then there was but, Infinite Warfare, which... Uh, yeah, I never actually... Yeah, I never bought that in general. So fucking bad. <laughs> I did play Ghosts. I, and played, I, did mo- I played three matches of online. There were certain destroys. I died within the first ten seconds because the spawns were so close to each other. Wow. It was terrible. I, uh, I did play Ghosts. I didn't mind the, uh, the alien hated. mode. Yeah, The alien mode, I didn't mind too much. Obviously, it wasn't zombies. Yeah. I mean, Sledgehammer does a good try, but Triarch is still, like, the, the MVP oh, yeah. of zombies. But I probably will be getting World War II just because it's World War II zombies. Like, that's going yeah, back. Yeah, I'm going to have to look more into it. Like, I only know a little bit about Ooh. it. Oh, speaking of which, did you hear about the DLC the Black 5 Ops, announcement? yes, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC. Like, that's why? truly... That's truly... What do you mean, why? No, I'm just saying, like, it's just it's weird. It's mad. <laughs> I know, but it's weird. Because it ended, we basically ended the black the the storyline. Yeah. Right. I know. So people are like, "What now?" So I guess this is their way of saying like, "We're here's more to deal with." So <laughs> it's a, it's the first yeah. time any Call of Duty's actually had a, a fifth DLC, I believe, especially since Black Ops Three came out a few years ago. So this is Didn't like. Didn't COD Four have a? Fifth DLC? I honestly don't know, but any other way, it's an uh, old game to be releasing DLC for, and that's something. Yeah, that's that's why that's what I was saying. I was like, it's. But I mean, kind of so late. Yeah. Did, do you know what it is? Or? No, I don't. Is it just zombies? So it's all the old zombie maps pre Black Ops Three, but remastered. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. I can't wait for that. Yeah, because I've always been a big zombie guy with it. Yeah. Uh, um. I kind of want to. The only reason I boot back up my Xbox One is because now they have the backwards capability for Black Ops Two, and I own yes. all the DLC. And on PC, I think I own two DLCs for Black Ops 2, but I own all of them for I Black Ops I had all 3. the DLCs for it, too. Yeah. I, well, I obviously had them all for all, but on PC, it's only um, it's only the... Uh, what's it called? Yeah. On, on PC, I only have Black Ops 3 all DLC, because that's what I played it on. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I remember... Do you, do, do you remember that old... I don't know if you ever did it, but there, there was this glitch that you could do in World at War on the first map. Where if you in the in the room you spawn in, if you went to the left near the wall, if you stood on top of each other, the zombies would stand in front of you and they wouldn't move. I do not know that one. You don't know that glitch? No. Yo, I did that glitch with some random kids online because I had Mm. no friends. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I had no friends. So fuck it. I sorry. I'm playing a game and I died. Uh, I warned you about this. I know. But I, I'm, I'm paying attention, though. It's a board game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I did that glitch with these random kids. They must have been like 18, and I was like, uh, I got to be at least like 12. At 
the time. And it was funny, because we just stood there, and we would take turns every ten rounds killing the zombies. So what we would do is we would, uh, we would watch TV. So every time it wasn't my turn, I would switch the TV to, like, Disney Channel and watch Zack and Cody. Oh, <laughs> well, I, well, I have the mic in. I did the same thing. But it was in Black Ops 3, and it was when it first came out. So it was when that first Zombies map came out. Uh uh-huh. And there's this... Uh, did you ever play Zombies in Black Ops 3 a lot? Yeah. Or anything? So do you remember the first map? Yeah. Yeah, so you know how down in the quote-unquote basement when you go through the portals and there's the broken train cars? Yes. That's, like, the perfect uh, training area mm-hmm. i was gonna call it rape train but that's kind of a messed up term and it's an old one now too so but that is the rape term. train choo choo <laughs> <laughs> um no we'll get in trouble prepare yourself anyways, <laughs> anyways that was the perfect <laughs> zombie train area but uh remember you remember steven right yes yeah me and steven found this thing or no he found it and showed it to me where there's the balcony upstairs and if you inch close enough to the end, so it's like there's a balcony with the gate that runs across the entire thing but the gate in the middle is broken, so it allows players to, like, jump down into the area. Okay. But if you walk into that broken area and jump to your left, you can stand on, like, that inch of concrete between the gate and, like, the open air. And yeah. you can just stand there, and the zombies can't do anything. That's interesting. So we basically just take turns shooting them, going down to grab ammo and stuff. It was really nice. Mm. Until they patched it. <laughs> until they, yeah, that's usually how it always works. It's always yeah. nice until they find out. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Everyone's uh, joking on COD now, though, because... Uh, when it, oh, when, with like Battlefield? Yeah, because so the way it goes is that everyone was like, oh, when it for Battlefield first came out, they're like, God damn it, COD, you're releasing another future game. This sucks. Why can't you go back to the roots like uh, Battlefield? And then they come out with this and they're like, oh, you're just copying Battlefield now. Yeah, I know, right? They can't win. They can't win. You know what you know was a series I used to play before uh, COD? I used to play Medal of Honor. I never did play. Yo, that. Medal of Honor was mad good. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> it was mad good. Um, the future yeah, installments but- got bad. Like, I didn't enjoy the future installments, but, like, the ones for the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2 were fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. They actually did have an interview with someone from Sledgehammer Games. Mm. And they're like, so what do you think about all this Battlefield stuff? And maybe it was throwing shade. Maybe it was just casual conversation. But he's like, the minute that... Because obviously COD comes out every year, so they have to keep yeah. pumping out games. So like the minute that Infinite Warfare came out, we immediately started working on a World War II game before the reveal trailer of Battlefield 1. So it's kind of like they didn't steal the idea. They just uh, were kind of like trying to defend themselves. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh my god. So uh, speaking of which, this can transition to our, the next topic I have, which is uh, sure. are there any new games that you're hyped for that are coming out this year? Oh, fucking Tekken! Oh, uh, yeah. God, I only got to wait a month. <laughs> One more it's month. It's going to be hard to edit out that ear, right? <laughs> no, it's fine. Keep it in. They'll enjoy it. For me, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe I just don't remember, or I don't know of any games that I'm really hyped for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no triple A commercial game has I, have I seen on YouTube commercials or TV where it's like, oh my god, this looks great. Can't wait to have it. I Like, right yeah. now, I feel like we're kind of in a dead zone. But then, of course, the summer's going to hit. and Yeah, and that, that's where everything's going to come out. <laughs> yeah, all my money's going to flood the window. And then we have the Steam <laughs> Summer Sale. That's true. I forgot about the Steam Summer Sale. Yeah, it happens towards the end of the summer, doesn't it, though? Um, I think so. But yeah, like, like Tekken 7, I've been waiting on for way too freaking long. Uh, I just got Dragon Quest Heroes 2, which I've been playing a crap ton of. I would record it, but, you know, Square Enix will be like, copyrights all up in my face. So I can't. Square Enix do that with YouTubers? Yeah, they do it a lot. Kingdom Hearts, a lot of games. You gotta be really careful with Square Enix. I always wonder how Game Grumps managed to uh, record uh, Zelda, because I know a bunch of YouTubers are getting taken down from that. Mm. Like pretty much everyone, unless they were directly uh, licensed by them. That's true. Or whatever. And apparently, I'm not sure if it was a joke, but you were watching that Best Of, right? Uh, Which one? The one that just came out today. I, did, today, I didn't watch it yet. Okay. But basically, uh, they brought up a topic where um, they have a YouTube series, or YouTube Red series upcoming? Yes. I did not know that. I thought they weren't going to do it, just because I know that them and YouTube are kind of distanced a little bit, it uh-huh. seems like. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder what it would be about. I wonder if it will be a game show. That would be pretty fun. That would be interesting. It would be interesting to see them like in that type of way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't know. if I'm, I, I still don't think that's going to make me buy YouTube Red, but, <laughs> but mm-hmm. I don't know. Cause that's like another yeah. way of them trying to get like a profit out of YouTube. Like you know, ever since Google took over, 
Like, uh, yeah. YouTube's, YouTube's been kind of transitioning from, like, the uh, creators only to, like, now this is becoming, like, marketable. Really, mm -hmm. as of late. I don't know. Especially with the ad crisis going on right now where everyone's losing their minds. <laughs> oh. I never, I, whenever I see that on my uh, dash, just it's the, true uh, though. Oh, is, I ain't lying. YouTube? It's true. I you'd have to run me up on that because I have no idea what everyone's okay, talking about. Okay, so that. the the ad crisis. I don't really know too much about it. I know I know that something with ads right now that I think they're changing the way ads work on YouTube mm -hmm. and how people make money off of it because like I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's not my reason to do YouTube. I enjoy it, uh, but like. Uh, I got a paycheck. Let's see. Let's, I'm trying to take like two months from like two months ago. I got a paycheck that was maybe like a hundred and ten dollars, and then uh, last month I got a paycheck which was only sixty. <laughs> oh. So it's a big drop, and I can only imagine what it's going to be like a couple days from now when I get another paycheck. So was our revenue dropping or something like that? I don't know if it's dropping, but I know that like uh, money wise, you're not making as much money as you used to. <laughs> yeah, so the ad revenue is not. It's dying. <laughs> I wonder why though. I wonder why they're cutting the revenue that you get from ads. Mm. I heard that YouTube's trying to fix it because I watched the uh, the official podcast when they had PewDiePie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I heard that from PewDiePie that they're working on something. So uh -huh. hopefully it'll get better in the next couple of months, especially with the summer. <laughs> that's when everyone and their mom is not outside and on their computers. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, uh, good thing I have a job or else my, I would Same. probably gain like 50 <laughs> pounds over the summer. I'd probably gain 50 pounds just sitting here. My family would become disappointed. They'd probably look to therapy. I'd probably uh, have to like get a... Melissa would question you. Yeah, I'd probably put a toilet in my chair <laughs> Wow. and just... <laughs> it's going the um, distance. My my girlfriend showed me. Have you ever seen the episode of South Park where they play World of Warcraft? No, I don't really watch South Park. Me neither. But she showed me this one where they're trying to defeat the unkillable player, so they have to no life it for like a week straight. So they uh -huh. all gained like fifty, like a hundred pounds almost, <laughs> and they don't get out of the chair. So it's just like, mom, a uh, uh, bathroom. Okay, honey, he puts his buck beneath him. He's <laughs> 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 like, shits into the bucket. <laughs> And she's like, oh, such a healthy boy, and then walks away. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Right? Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. I mean, uh. I um, have another topic, and this one's probably my favorite, because I love this. And it seems like every year it gets better. But this year, the new movies come in. Oh, my God. Oh, man, something Mitchell can't really talk about. Why? <laughs> I'm not a movie person. I know, but dude, it's so good. All right, you want me to list off the movies I have? Go right ahead. All right, these are uh, all the movies I found online that are coming out this year. All at right. least that I really care about. Okay. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, I, love, I care about that. Yeah, Marvel. Like this year is actually like this is Marvel's year. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god, there's like three Marvel movies. Like movie wise. And then they're also, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's I'm, all right. The MCU. How about that? Okay. Okay. You know what that means? Nope. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Cool. Okay, anyways, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, we have uh -huh. Star Wars, yes. we got Spider-Man, okay. Thor, Yep. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I forgot they're making another one. Yep, uh, Justice League, that's a DC mm -hmm. one. We got Planet of the Apes, uh -huh. uh, Cars 3, my baby right there. I forgot Came they're making out. Cars 3 as well. I know, it's this year, I can't wait. Uh, Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. so it's another DC. So I, Okay, so I guess we have two... No, no, we still do have three Marvel, and then we have two DC. Uh, we got Wonder Woman. We got Transformers again. God damn. And then, uh, of course, the uh, legendary Captain Underpants. Yes. Did you see the trailer? I think yes. they did amazing. I think <laughs> it, looks it I, I think it looks pretty funny. It looks great. Have you, did you ever see the Peanuts movie? Because that's what it kind of looks like. Yes. I didn't see the movie. I really wanted to see it. It's really nice like to look at. Like, it has a really nice animation. It's good animation. Yeah, but yeah, Cars, uh, I don't know, out of all this, probably all the Marvel movies and Cars 3. I'm really excited mm -hmm. for Cars 3. Except I'll probably just watch it online instead of walking to a theater full of kids. Because they don't know my life. <laughs> I can just imagine you going in by yourself, just like, alone. Dude, I totally would. Alone, no one working. around, you're just surrounded by like six-year-olds. What if I'm the obnoxious one in the theater? Oh, yeah, you totally <laughs> would be. Lightning McQueen comes on the screen. Oh, my God. Lightning. I love you. 
I love I'm you. W- I'm just wearing all the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be great. He's got all the merch set up. He's ready. <laughs> He's oh, ready my God. Oh, sh- shit. I was really... Oh, I had a really good topic. I lost it now, Mitch. You this did. is why you write them down. I know, but no, I mean, like, no, I just thought of it. You know what I mean? No. Oh my god, you're killing me. I've lost it now. It's completely <laughs> gone. It's all hopeless now. It's all over. Oh my god. End it now. <laughs> I really don't know now. And that pisses me off. Because right, well, I can't I can't just sit here and silent and think about it because exactly. it's on. Oh man. Alright, your turn. My turn. <laughs> Those are my three topics. Are you serious? That's all you had? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Why do you think I asked you for help? You could have told me how many topics we had before we went into this. Well, like, no, like, like that, I've said, people, unprofessionalism at its finest. That ruins the. Uh, that ruins. That ruins the surprise. All right. So, without looking at the recording software, could you take a guess how how long we've been recording? Um, I guess it's like fifteen minutes. Uh, Sixteen, close. Hey, I've always been good with time. I just got knocked out again. You want to brag about? It? You want to brag about it? <laughs> no, I don't. This happened yesterday. What? When I was on the phone. Stupid, like, multicolored bitch came by. What? Beat my ass, took my stars, and won the game. Yeah. Well, dude, we have no idea what the hell's happening, okay? (laughs) Play 100% orange juice. You can't just say this multicolored bitch. (laughs) Hair color. Hair color. We don't want to get racist now. That's what you said, though. You didn't say hair. No, I didn't. I said hair. You did not say hair. I swear I said hair. This is not the podcast. Replay though. the footage. <laughs> like, this whole podcast is just us arguing. <laughs> Replay the footage. Replay um, the footage. But yeah, that's what happened yesterday. I was about to win, and then she oh, came out of nowhere. Oh, I talk about. She kicked my ass, and I lost. Okay. Good thing that your game distracted me enough to where Good. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, my prom is coming up, so I'm going to be doing that. Ooh, recently. prom. I know, but the thing is, I went during my uh, my sophomore year in high school because uh, my girlfriend. Oh yeah, I remember. Me. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, I don't know why she went during her junior year. Though I was just kind of like, oh, let's just go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I could specifically remember renting the tux and everything. But um, it's expensive, it was really, right? Yeah, it was a really <laughs> back and forth scenario with me actually thinking about going because I asked him like, "Do you want to go? Do you not want to go?" And it's kind of like, uh, you "If wanna you want to chill in my house can, for the weekend, what do you want to do?" No, legit, and no one knows this except me and her. But um, one uh, I think it was last year. No, um, it might have been this year. I kind of forget how long the years ago. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, I mm-hmm. bought homecoming tickets. Right. Okay. Got it. Got it. She got a dress. I got it dressed up and everything. And we're just laying at my house, getting ready to go. Right. Mm-hmm. Just kind of just chilling. And we're just like, you want to go? I was just like, oh, no, not really. You just kind of want to go get frozen yogurt, and that's what we did. We went. We bought. <laughs> Frozen yogurt. Oh, you yeah, guys we home. Were waiting. <laughs> yeah, we, bought, we, bought the, we bought the tickets too. That's mad stupid. I know. I still have the tickets in my backpack. I think. You guys, you guys want to go to homecoming? Want to get frozen yogurt? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we didn't even go. It's funny because we even saw friends that went to homecoming there, and then we just went home and chilled. That's mad funny. The best thing I love is that at that point in a relationship, chilling out is just like, that's the best thing to do. Yeah. Just like, you want to go to a dance? Like, no, nah, let's just stay home. And let's just stay home and, and like, eat frozen yogurt. <laughs> just sit in our underwear and sweatpants and, and just whatever. Get, get fat. and <laughs> Gain 300 pounds. Eat the frozen <laughs> yogurt. You know, I've never had frozen yogurt. You never have? I've never had frozen yogurt. I, I, I might be trying some when I go to Pat's for the week. I can tell you this is that it's not that much different from ice cream. Oh, it just has a slight taste. Is it, it, like, soft-served? Yeah, pretty That's much. That's what I figured. I figured it was, like, soft-served. Ice it's cream. really good, though. It is really good. It's delicious. Mm. All right, if you'll excuse me, I have to go, like, beat my cat into submission because she's pulling a sandal underneath the that, door. That is not <laughs> something you should say. Uh, no, they they know my, my hatred for this cat. Oh, my God. Lord, PETA, please don't watch this. What are you doing? <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> oh my god alright so anyway <laughs> she was pulling a sandal under my door 
<laughs> she was trying to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I love your cats. <laughs> They're all retarded. Yeah, but no, um, anyways, so plan on going to promise you, right? But yes. I was just kind of, and obviously I have to go to college. So I need to save up money. <clears throat> so it's just kind of back and forth to my girlfriend and mom. And it's just kind of like, oh, it costs this much money. Should we really go? Mm. Turned from a no to a yes to a final <clears throat> no. And then like one night mom's just like, all right, your, your dad really thinks you should go. So we'll help <laughs> you. And it's like, all right. So I got the tickets yesterday, actually. Uh-huh. And I'm like, all right, so it'll just be a <clears throat> casual prom. But, um, what's it called? Uh, yeah. And then my mom's like, oh, by the way, our friend who uh, owns a company, uh, uh, we're going to get you a limo. I was like, oh, oh, oh cool. Shit. So it's like all of a sudden the problem. Oh, was just you just made me of- remember a, a beautiful story. I'll let you finish. But Okay. Keep that. Keep it. Don't lose I it. I got it. Um, so yeah, now it's turning from just like the meh, like just let's go to prom to like this is about to be the most like lit party of the entire don't, don't year say for lit. me. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't say lit. I hey, you know I usually no, it's turnt. Oh my god, is that to get the most turnt part of the year? We turn in this baby ninety degrees <laughs> night to the right. We spin in it. <laughs> we spin in it on two floors. Yeah, it's cool. And then um, my uh, just got a f- few stuff lined up. You ever like have something and you have like you wish you could go back in time and fix it? Because that's what I did to my girlfriend. I was like, oh, we might get a limo. She's like, oh, you should have kept it a surprise. And you're like, god damn, I really should have. That would have been a great surprise. Yep. <laughs> All right, your turn. Go. Oh yeah. So my story about my limo for prom. Wow, that was a, oh that was great. <laughs> so so I I had to. So I had to where we're all going to meet up because there was uh, there must have been at least six of us. Or si- no, there was there was seven of us that were meeting up, and we met up at uh, one of the girls' houses and we chilled there. And we're waiting for the limo, and we're waiting. My mom's there, like all the parents are there. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. <laughs> and now it's like a half an hour goes by, and we're like, okay, where the hell is this limo? So one of the girls calls up, and the, the dude on the phone is like. I'm not going to be able to get you guys. One of the people before you had a heart attack in the limo. So I'm on the freeway right now. Waiting for an ambulance. And we're like, what the fuck? (laughs) We're like, how are we going to get there now? And we already paid for the limo and everything. So my mom, being the the trooper that she is, fit seven 18-year-old kids into her car and drove us to Jersey. To go to prom. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> because we had to get there at a certain time because it's on a boat. Uh-huh. So, like, we made it with, like, ten minutes left to spare. What, until... Until the wait. boat left. Oh, wait, so there's a boat that they take you to the prom. Yeah, like, the boat the, the boat is prom. Like, if we got on the boat, that was prom. Oh, it was, a, it was a, like, a house boat, like, party yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And it was really cool. It was fun. Prom? Like, was that the yeah? That was the actual prom. prom. Yeah, it was the school prom. Okay. It was fun. That is funny as hell. So, did you ever like get a refund? Yeah, or? yeah, we did. Okay. We got refunded, but just the whole situation was like really. Just. Yeah. Hey, listen, dude. This dude just had a heart attack in the back of my car. <laughs> yeah, we were like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm on the are, highway. Are you serious? Yeah, he was on so the. He was hi- pulled over on the side of the he highway. He was pulled over on the story. side of the highway, waiting for an ambulance. And I was just like, God oh, damn it! It's like, why is this my life? That you have, life. yep. Jesus Christ! That's God. That's damn my it. cue. Is we'll, that them being and we'll, and we'll be back after this sponsorship. <laughs> oh my god. Hurry up, make a sponsorship up, go. Uh, Fidget spinners, Hub. buy them at Walgreens, I work there, hurry up, buy them. Pornhub shows us videos every day. Flip in Christ. <laughs> no, that's okay, good. I was talking, and then I slowly stopped losing momentum, so I'm like, okay, now I'm just gonna edit this out. Uh, it was the goddamn UPS, this is an asshole. Oh, it was, okay, I thought uh. it was a family. <laughs> You rang my doorbell like 12 times. I know, I heard it, so that's why I thought it was your family. I thought it was my family too. I was like, what kind of asshole does that? <laughs> it's my shirts that I ordered. And some other oh, okay. thing. What yeah, kind of shirts? We have a, a drag- I got one Dragon Quest shirt. 
Uh, and I got a uh, My Hero Academia shirt. <sighs> which nice. looks hot. Yep. Nice. All right. And, and I'm wearing right, a, I'm wearing Kitty Cat Gaming shirt right now. <sighs> That's great. Thank you. So anyway, you know but that asshole who rang my doorbell like 12 times. <laughs> you know what I hate? What do you hate? Is that the editing software I'm using to uh, make this podcast? I don't really know how to edit audio that well, so well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun trying to cut that out. It's fine. <laughs> so anyway, what were we talking about? Besides the sponsor from Fidget Spinner, buy them today. Did you hear me when you said that? No. Yeah, as you walked away, I was like, uh, Pornhub provides us with videos every day. <laughs> Pornhub provides us with a free month trial. <laughs> With good quality and regret. <laughs> Remember to watch those fantastic pornos in 1080p. Just use the code crazy. <laughs> <laughs> use the code crazy. <laughs> use, use the code uh, ADS at uh, checkout. Yep. All right. Or, what, uh, what the hell are we talking about? A, f- a free rough handy through your monitor. Yeah. Just <laughs> we ended. We ended on your prom. Oh. Okay. We ended on dude what I was a heart attack. Yes, we ended on that man. <laughs> still don't. Yes. Even, I still don't know what happened from that. Oh my god! Yeah, well, don't jinx that for me, because I swear to God, if I see the limo driver call me half an hour late, I'm already gonna be like, oh well, we already know what's about. <laughs> There's to a dead guy in that car. <laughs> <laughs> but we just got in, and, he's, and there's just a gentleman slumped over. And it's like, uh, is this guy like our chauffeur? It's like, no, don't talk to him. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. It's he's like, uh, oh. taking a little nap. Just take let him be. Nap. <laughs> it's so it's so nerdy when you think about it. Since like underage drinking isn't a thing when it comes to that, right? Yo, so, wait, that's another story uh, that yeah. you just reminded me of from prom. Uh-huh. So, like, uh, what do you call it? So I was like, going to say it's going to sound nerdy to be like, yo, you guys want some cider? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want some apple cider? Uh, it's true. You are like apple cider. It's cider. good. Uh, it's good. Probably not things underage people should say. Anyway, it's besides yeah, it's the point, good. anyway, uh, so so after after prom, you know, there was like a limo that would take us to where we were going to stay for the next three days because we stayed at like a hotel for the weekend uh-huh. uh, with everybody. Yep. Um, so we get in the limo and like we get in and we're just sitting there. We're all talking and we're all basically scrunched up because, you know, there's seven of us and mm-hmm. um, we're all scrunched up. We're all talking, we're all talking, we're all talking. And the dude just turns around to us and he's like, you guys going to be drinking anything? And we're like, no. <laughs> and he was like, good. Cause I want to make sure none of you are puking back here. Cause I'm not paying. I'm not going to clean it up. <laughs> We were like, wow, what the fuck? <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it was like wait, first of all, we're this... all underage. Wait, did you say it in like a joking way? Or no, he, he meant the dead serious. serious. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, just so you know, like, and he was like naming like each liquor that was in the back and like how much they cost per drink. And we're oh, like, so dude, the- we just want to get to the hotel. Uh, it's like, we're all tired. It's 1 a.m. I was like, we want to go to bed. <laughs> We've been dancing oh, so for four hours. Does it work like a uh, like a hotel, like to to use the drinks you got paid for? Them? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so I'm guessing you guys wouldn't even get in trouble then if he's saying it like that. He wouldn't be like, "Hey, you guys can't drink that. You're underage." No, he was completely fine with it. He didn't give a shit. He probably just wanted more money. <laughs> to be just honest, that's serious. Just turns around, arm on the passenger seat, just like, "Hey." Don't puke, because then I have to clean it up. Yeah, and he was like, and he, he was like, also there's cigars underneath there if you guys want those too. And we're like, Jesus Christ, we're like 18. The youngest one with what? us was 16. Wait, there's a what? Cigars. Oh my god. I was like, the youngest person with <laughs> us is 16. <laughs> I was like, these are not things you should be telling underage okay people. This, I'm not okay with this peer pressure. And of course, I was the guy who had to be like, here, take the money after we're done. And so and then he talked with me. And then it just got more awkward. What, you mean like a tip? Yeah. And then he starts mm-hmm. talking with me. Because the thing with our problem was like, there was more girls than guys that were staying. Oh. So there was like five girls and then it was me and my other friend Boris. So he like looked at yeah. me. He was like, so you guys planning any action tonight? And I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. I was oh like, go away. My I know, God. that's what I'm saying. I was like, oh are you kidding God. me? This limo driver. I was like, what the fuck? How was he like older, younger? He was maybe? probably in his thirties. <laughs> probably. And he had kids too. Like he was telling us about his kids. 
and I'm like, this dude. So like, what? Everyone went inside. So all you're and you're outside giving. Yeah, they were heading into the hotel to sign us in, and I'm outside with the guy. And he's just like, so any action tonight? Yeah, he was like, like, you guys getting any action today? Because there's definitely more girls than guys here. And I was like, shut up. What was your legit answer? I was like, no, because only two of us have girlfriends here. And he was like, all right, I see. I I wouldn't give him that explanation. I'd just be like, no, because we're we're friends. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. My my raging hormones (laughs) (laughs) can't. <laughs> My raging hormones can't take this anymore. Yeah, we're gonna have a seven some. That's what's yeah. gonna happen. Just no, playing. we did not. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. We, yo, say, literally, all kidding. we did that weekend, the prom was like hang out, eat pizza, and watch TV. Like that's all. We were mad boring. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun oh, though. Man. Yeah, I would. It's kind of hard to do that in Vegas. If only the place I'd go would be like uh, California. Yeah, because because we were in Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. But that's where the problem oh. was, so we just picked Jersey. a hotel that was close by. <laughs> I remember the next day we woke up at 9 a.m. and went to Wendy's. Mm. Uh, that's like my entire we life story there. from my girlfriend's house. Yeah. Like, uh, she lives in a very small town, so <clears throat> she was just playing video games. I'm just kind of relaxed and just chilling out because she's like playing with her friends and stuff. Uh-huh. So I don't want to like interrupt and be like me talking to you while she's in the background. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm hungry. She's like, or no, she, she's the type of girl that's like, I'm hungry. Can you go give me something? Like, oh, I want this. And you're so like, like, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then um, she's like, oh, can you just go to Burger King? And I'm like, sure. And I go pick up food. And she and um, and then you come back and she's like, that's not what I ordered. <laughs> well, no, it was more like, I was like, hey, I'm hungry. She's like, okay, go get something. I'm like, are you hungry? She's like, no, not really. So I got her something out of. Uh, like just anyway. Like, just surprised, yeah. But it was like something she couldn't eat. And she's like, oh, I can't eat this. I'm like, uh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> just shove it down my throat. <laughs> and I bought myself dessert and everything. That's and really she's like, funny. Can, you, can you get me this from Wendy's? Because I can eat that. Left the house. Got that. How and many times like, did you oh, leave? Dude, not uh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> too many times. Three or four times. That's pretty funny. And then um, the third time it started snowing. <laughs> Like and it was on my Snapchat. I'm walking towards my car, just screaming, just "Oh my God, it's snowing!" I my just wanted wet news. My car is being pelted with snow. Yeah, it was great. I like I like uh I like town. Everything's like within a two block radius. <laughs> just uh, oh, and they have a Radio Shack there, so that's my new hangout. <laughs> radio oh, shack. you know what's a funny story I could bring up? Because I am like the man of stories. Like if you ask me things, I have a story. Oh, same. Uh, did you did you see on Twitter? And I know you don't have me a Snapchat yet because I'm still getting used to how the hell that works. Mm-hmm. But uh, did you hear about that? I almost got into a fight with like four kids. No. Like two days ago. No, I did not. Yeah. So this is a this is another really stupid ass story. Da, 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 da. So, so right, I'm with my mom. And ah. uh, we went. We had to go to the bank. We had to go to the store. And then we had to go to ah. another store because they didn't have what we needed. Oh, yeah. So, I'm basically in a very, quote-unquote, ghetto-slash-hood neighborhood <laughs> that I've never been to this daily before in my life. Uh-huh. And I've had problems in this neighborhood before because uh, I used to have baseball practice there. And uh, when we had practice once, some kids decided that they were going to be assholes and throw fireworks at us. So, basically, okay. we almost killed them because we all had bats. And they they left. Wait, wait, wait. wait <laughs> this is you with your mom, right? Yes. That's another. That's mom, another story, but this is just me and my mom. So. Oh, okay. I thought this was the same story. No, the fireworks story is different. <laughs> okay, you but I'm, I'm saying I've had problems in this neighborhood before. Okay. Uh, so she drops me off in front of the deli, and she's like, "I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go into the bank really quick." And I was like, "Okay." So, I go in the deli, and there's three kids in there. Uh, one's got a bike, and the other two were just like talking. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going in here to grab milk. And like, that's literally all I was doing was getting milk. Uh, so I'm going in there. I'm going to get the milk. And uh, this kid starts yelling at the do it at the counter about the price of soda he was buying. And no, this kid's probably like 16, 17. The other kids were probably like maybe 15 because they looked a little younger. Okay. 
So he's yelling at the dude behind the counter because apparently the soda should be 25 cents less than what it is. And me getting my milk didn't care. <laughs> I just wanted to get my milk and leave. Uh, uh-huh. So he starts arguing with the guy and then the other two kids like like rally kids behind him like in a rap battle like started going <laughs> like you know started hyping him up. So uh-huh. so the way I am I was kind of like this is a really really stupid argument I'm gonna see if I can defuse this. So I just I, lo- I would look I looked at the kid and I like talked to him for a second I was like dude it's just 25 cents I don't see what the big problem is. Boy did he get angry. <laughs> <laughs> like that pause right there he got up. <laughs> really angry and he was like he was like oh it's probably because you could afford the extra 25 cents and i was like dude i have exact change for what i have what i need to buy and he was like oh so then you can't even offer me 25 cents so what's the point of you even talking to me right now and he just kept going on and on <laughs> and like and then he started doing like racial slurs at me Cracker. yeah and like Where's other things doing? And I'm just standing there like, this is, this can't be happening. I was like, I'm just in here for milk. Now, were you taller than him? Oh, yeah. Okay, then you immediately have the advantage on who's like, winning. Like, I was trying not to laugh because I couldn't believe this was happening. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of store was this, by the way? It was like a little side deli. Okay, so it wasn't like a... No, it, was, it wasn't like an actual store. Okay. It was like a little tiny deli. And we were the only people in there. Yeah. You know who the real victim is? Is that clerk now that clerk was an idiot he didn't say anything uh well i mean you're kind of not supposed to as a employee like you're getting yelled at you're kind of just supposed to take it i know but still yeah. like he didn't even attempt to defend me while i'm getting racially slurred at for trying to defend you <laughs> uh, <laughs> back me up yeah but anyway so he keeps going on and on and like he's getting more and more angry as he talks and like he can tell that i'm like smiling now because i'm like i'm finding it hilarious that this is even happening so then this other kid comes in, and this kid was taller than me, and he had to be at least 20. <laughs> he was mad tall. He must have been at least 6'4". And I'm, and I'm six foot, so, like, you can see the difference. <laughs> and he comes in, and I kid you not, this kid is smoking a blunt right in front of me. Oh, my God. Right in front of me. He's just puffing away with his <laughs> eyes as red as possible. <laughs> And he comes in, like, super calm and, like, droopy. Uh-huh. And he, like, turns to the kids. He's like, yo, what's taking so long for the damn soda? And I was, I was just like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> so then, like, they start talking to him. The plot deepens. Yeah. <laughs> so they start talking to him. And I'm like, this, this is just getting more and more stupid. Uh... <laughs> And then, like, the other kids are like, yo, we're about to beat this cracker up. And I'm just like, all right, if this happens, they're all getting dropped. But whatever at this point. And then the dude's like, yo, I'm not dealing with this right now. We're going home. I'm too high for this. And he just gives the kid, like, a dollar. And they all, they pay for the soda and they walk out. But the best part is when they're leaving, the kid that gets the soda, he's like, only in the hood, this should be 25 cents left a- as he walks out. And I was, uh... This entire time, I'd be in the back having an anxiety attack. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot handle humans and when they get angry at I shit, could not like... believe what happened. <laughs> I was so Seriously. starstruck. I was like, are you serious? That and me and, the, cool. me and the dude just looked at each other. I bought my milk. I walked out. And then my mom that... came back, like, like on cue. How was your day? <laughs> yeah, I just got out in the car and didn't say it. She still doesn't know that happened. Oh, my God. But it was hilarious. Dude, that, that poor clerk. Can you imagine what he sees just in an average Yo, day? No, I deal with morons all the time in my store, so it was nothing new that I had to deal with. But I just couldn't yeah. believe that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, my God. Yeah, it's funny. In Vegas, it's very obvious to see, but you can really tell. So you start out in, like, white privileged neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. And then as you drive further, you can just see the more dilapidated and the more, I, like, I say, and it's pretty much true, Las Vegas is split up into four sections. And this is on purpose, obviously. Yeah. But it's split into four races, I swear. Mm. Like. It's kind uh, of the way New York is, too. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's like, oh, hey, we gotta go pick up a friend. He lives down south of Vegas. And it's like, okay, so we're crossing into Mexican territory now. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, it's like, all of a sudden, everything changes to Spanish. You don't see a single white person anymore. Well, well, that's true, because, like, uh, like one of the neighborhoods that uh, I'm at. Wait, wait, this isn't to be racist. This is just a fact of that there are, like, certain areas Where it's just, like, certain race. Okay, there's a difference between me saying there's a lot of Mexicans between <laughs> and between saying you're digging yourself a ditch. It. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying there's a nice way and there's a yeah. wrong way. I can saying that there's a lot of Mexicans there. That is a visual fact. <laughs> saying there's a lot of these goddamn Mexicans <laughs> out here. That that is that is being that, racist. That, that is being a dick. So I'm saying a visual statement, not no. well. Well, not that's anything. the thing. Like uh, like where I live, there's a, a place called Tottenville, and that's where all the white rich kids are. Uh-huh. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I live in like the I live in class Richmond, area. so it's like a mix of like every race and like poor, rich, and medium. It's a mix of everything. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But yeah, but then you got like the projects, which is uh, mainly black uh, in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to think of oh, Great Kills is also mainly it's mainly Italians mm-hmm. in Great Kills. But yeah, like, yeah, I, I get what you're saying though. It's like uh, certain areas are split up certain ways. It's scary sometimes. Yeah. Because you're completely out of your, like, zone. Yeah, out of your element. Well, I mean, like, the thing was for me, too, was, like, I, I went to a high school where it was, like, 95% black. Oh, that's my high school, pretty much. And I didn't, it's not like it bothered me or anything. I just thought it was funny, because when I would yeah, play football, everyone needs to know they would call me white this... boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't mind. I got used to it after freshman year. No! <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because my neighborhood, my school area, is kind of a mix of all three. So it's kind of like I get my, I get my, uh, I get to see all kinds. Yeah. So it's nothing new. It, it, it I'm used to it now. Mm. But it was definitely something to adjust to once it started getting more populated. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah. Just to be fact, this episode is titled "Not the Racist Episode." <laughs> These are the visual first episode, statements. All the racism. <laughs> oh my god. When you said uh, black nut, <laughs> <laughs> why did you have an emphasis on the B? Like, <laughs> black. <laughs> oh my god. That means we should get Damien in here next time. <laughs> He'll defend us. Yeah, we need to. We need to have some uh, diversity. In <laughs> get our Damien. Podcast. I was just talking him. And That's then we get a, uh, we get lyric because he's half black, half white. Is so he really? Like a, yeah, he's mixed. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. He's very uh, well. I mean, he's very light skinned. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's, he's mixed. We should get out of this conversation before something bad happens. This is we've already dug ourselves too far. The grave man. has been dug, and we're dead. The only it's way is late. to keep digging until you get out the other side. <laughs> until you reach China. Yeah, until you reach China. But it's funny. So you know, in Nevada, it's like all desert, right? Yep. That's the thing I kind of like is that in every direction, I'll you die look, there. It's all, if I go, it's there. all mountains and dirt. But there's this area uh, near me, uh, and it's just this oasis. And it's a it's a neighborhood, but it's ginormous. Biggest neighborhood you've ever seen in your life. Uh-huh. Like, it's basically its own city. Um, but it's all grass and trees and lakes. It's like it's a complete oasis to Nevada. That's interesting. And it's, really, and it's all man-made, of course. Uh-huh. And uh, all rich white people, pretty much. Mm-hmm. My computer just turned off. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Come on, it went you away. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 cool though. It's a nice place to just you know, take a walk family. when it's when it's not like a. Oh, now your family's home. Now my family's home. Okay, should we wrap it up? We are at forty five minutes. Yeah, we can wrap it up here for our first. Time. Minus a minute for cutting that audio out for yeah, me fine. just sitting here in silence. Alrighty, do you want to take it away? I'm gonna say goodbye now because my family's gonna continue to ring that doorbell like the UPS asshole. As your mic cuts out. No, it's okay. fine. I'm good. <laughs> All right. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Justin, if you would be so kind to lead us out here. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. Thank you to everyone for watching the first episode of the ADS podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you look forward to more future podcasts. Uh, so far, looking like maybe if we're lucky uh, once a week, uh, one episode a week, maybe at a certain point, we'll get two times a week. But at the moment, me and Mitch are both working and i'm in school for a little bit longer so until then that's when we are going to be doing this show but thank you guys for watching and or listening and we will see you guys later peace out